EPIC is an intensive chemotherapy regimen intended for treatment of aggressive non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It is often combined with rituximab. In this case it is called R-EPIC or EPIC-R. R-EPIC regimen consists of R atuximab, an anti-CD20 monoclonal antibody, which has the ability to kill B cells, be they normal or malignant. E toposide, a topoisomerase inhibitor from the group of epipodophilotoxins. P rednisolone, a glucocorticoid hormone that can cause apoptosis and lysis of both normal and malignant lymphocytes. O and covin, also known as vincristine, a vinca alkaloid that binds to the protein tubulin, thereby preventing the formation of microtubules and mitosis. C. Wyclophosphamide, an alkylating antineoplastic agent. H. Wydroxidonorubicin, also known as doxorubicin, an anthracycline antibiotic that is able to intercalate DNA, damaging it and preventing the cell division. Topic dosing regimen This regimen requires the use of prophylactic antibiotics to prevent infectious complications, as well as the use of colony-stimulating factors GCSF from the first day after the end of chemotherapy to the day of full blood count restoration ANC greater than 1,000 per microliters. There is also an improved version of the regimen. In this version the chemotherapy dose varies from cycle to cycle depending on the patient's ability to tolerate chemotherapy and the degree of neutropenia and thrombocytopenia observed in this patient after each cycle. This approach is called dose-adjusted EPIC, or DA-EPIC DA-EPIC-R, DA-R-EPIC, R-DA-EPIC. Dose change rules are as follows, twice a week a full blood count with white blood cell count WBC differential is obtained. Dose escalation above the starting doses in case of good patient's chemotherapy tolerability applies simultaneously to etoposide, doxorubicin and cyclophosphamide. Dose de-escalation below the starting doses in case of poor patient's chemotherapy tolerability applies to cyclophosphamide only. If the nadir ANC greater than 500 per microliters, then the doses of etoposide, doxorubicin, and cyclophosphamide for the next cycle are all increased by 20% over the doses used in the previous cycle. If the nadir ANC 25,000 per microliters, then the dose for the next course will remain the same. If the nadir ANC